What is up everybody, your buddy e-bike guy. In today's video, we're gonna be troubleshooting this e-bike right here. So this is an outroad e-bike or outroad frames that I use to build my Tommy bikes on. Now, what's going on with this e-bike is yesterday is that we uh, you know, tried to attempt to put this together. As you can know that we have the hub motor on, it's a QS205 MB power um, style motor. Um, I got a custom wire harness to this e-bike. We have a 72850 that has been mounted on the uh, underside of the down tube as I always do and this particular custom one the race bike so that's a custom built 72 volt battery that I built with Molly Cell P45 bs and um, so um, it does have active balance in there so um, let me sh I'm just going to show you or tell you what what's going on so this controller has never been turned on never had all the learn we never uh, tuned the parameters and all that stuff right there uh, we just built the battery uh, the same day um, they just we installed the uh, motor hub so <clears throat> let me show you so on this side they had installed some DI island brakes I had recommend them to the DI island brakes as you can see this tire has not been ridden we haven't rolled this bike or nothing so the rim and everything is still brand new we're gonna get a matching white wheel for the front but anyways you can see we even have the motor collar on and that, this collar right here actually prevents this motor wire from uh, touching or rubbing against those screws on the rotor. So brand new rotor, motor cable, and they, they like to wrap this up. You see how they wrapped it up um, and, and this here fiber tape um, just to make it look a little better, I guess. You know what I mean? But I noticed when they, uh, no, so they did it here and we hooked everything up. And let me show you what's going on. So... Here's the display. Now I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna take the uh, this here wrapping off so y'all can see what's going on. Okay. All right. So it's in the off switch, um, or off position, and then our three-speed switch set to uh, one. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook the uh, you know hook it up. So we have a whole sensor plugged in. So you have two whole sensor. Um, plugs you have a spare and you have a uh, you know I guess you can say primary and we have a secondary one uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hook uh, this up uh, to the 850 so let me show you so that is so there it is upside down though but that's an 850 okay nothing so there's nothing wrong with it brand new so it's brand new and we're gonna go ahead and hook the phase wires up okay all right so let me go ahead and sit this down so y'all can actually can see All right, so y'all gonna actually see uh, me actually hooking this up. All right, I hope y'all can see that. <clears throat> Hold on one minute. All right, so we're gonna try to hook this up. So I do have my power cable, so you can see. So I got my power cable, and uh, we're gonna be hooking the phase wires up. So what's going on? I gotta get another uh, screw. But what's going on is that uh, we try to hook this up. We have no power. So we have no power at all, okay? And uh, we thought it was the harness. So we checked the harness, make sure it was good. Uh, we even tried to hot wire or hard turn on or force turn on the controller through the orange wire and you take the orange wire and you actually touch the positive of the controller and then it turns on. <coughs> so hold on one minute. Now this is like, this video is for like uh, research purposes where you can kind of troubleshoot and see what's going on with the controller if it's, if it's the wire harness. Um, or is something uh, entirely different. Now what's going on, we have the whole sensor error on the QS205 and we have a no turn on situation with the far drive 72850. Now the reason why I know there's a whole sensor because I hooked the controller, I hooked the 72530 up, same harness, okay? Same harness and turns on. It turns on, uh, we try to do a, a, an auto learn but we kept receiving a whole sensor error, okay? So, but I'm gonna show you what's going on with this one.
So I don't want to try to edit this out. Sorry about that. I had to go get a screw. Uh, we need to hook the uh, yellow phase up to it. So let's go and hook this up. Hold on one minute. All right. So we have everything hooked up. We're going to go ahead and plug the battery uh, into our battery cable to the controller. Um, everything else is uh, straight. So let's go ahead and hook that up. Okay. All right. So everything is hooked up. Now let me show you what's going on. All right. So we have everything hooked up. So we got a, um, a battery, a battery lead, positive, negative. Our face is in the correct location. Um, everything is plugged in on our uh, custom harness. So let's go in and uh, turn this on. Let me show you what's going on. So we have no beep. So it's nothing. So now, so we have n nothing at all. So I thought it was the battery. I checked my harness. Everything's good. Hold on one minute. Yeah. So our harness is good. It's plugged in tight. And we get nothing from our display. See? So I thought I thought everything is good with the uh with you know <clears throat> with everything, but it's still we have no go, no power, no nothing. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, so it's nothing. So I don't know what happened. I don't know what had happened, but we still have um, no power, no nothing to our. <clears throat> and like I said, I thought it was a one hertz. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug this. Okay, so it, so you see it's, it's not even turned on. Not even turned on. Nothing from display, as you can see. So. It's nothing from display. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do? I have another far drive control over here. Now, this is a uh, this is a 530, the 72530, but they use the same uh, style harness. Now, what I'm gonna do? All I'm gonna do is plug everything over to this one. Now, I'm gonna put this on the ground. Okay. I'm gonna put this on the ground, and then uh, and then we're gonna show a uh, hall sensor uh, error if I can. Uh, with this uh, controller, um, probably not, but it won't go. So, anyways, let me uh, hook this up. And I just so happen to have a four drive controller um, available, so I'm just gonna just uh, unplug this. So, okay, so I'll unplug this. Usually I just say, um, you know, uh, check the wiring. Yeah, usually I say check the wiring, I make sure everything's good, but we're going to hook this up, okay? And we're not even going to uh, hook the... Yeah, we are. We got to hook the page up just to show you that we have the home sensor error on this one. And I might have to um, do a another video on that. Because I got to switch cameras and stuff, okay? So, I want to plug this. Okay? And we're going to plug it. Make sure we got it. Okay. So, I'm going to plug it in here. Okay, so that's plugged in. Okay, just to show you, it turns on. So if y'all heard that, you hear that? It turns on, but there's no phase. So we're gonna hook the phase up. And you see, we have we have uh, our display turned on. So we know it's not the wire harness. Everything is good. Our three-speed switch works. See. So it's nothing what I did. So it's nothing what I did. We have this, is, uh, so we have this run. So we're gonna turn this off. Okay, so we're gonna turn this off. And we're going to hook the phase up. 
and then we're going to go um, show you what's going on with the hub motor. So let's put that down. Okay. All right. Let's take this off. The first fork driver controller that I had any problems with. You know, all the fork drive controls that I get worked. So I don't know what, what the deal is with this one. I mean, we put it together. Didn't even, didn't even, it didn't even did an over and it, just, it didn't even work. So I'm just going to tell you that it didn't even work. show you it's kind of it's getting ready to thunderstorm okay all right let me tighten down the phase wires on it right quick and then we're gonna switch over to another camera and we're gonna show you what's going on with the uh the hub mode okay so we're hooking this up for our driver 72 530 I know because it was uh, it's also new too. Alright now. Now we have it on. Now let's turn it on. Okay, let's turn it on. Okay. Now, okay. So it's on. And uh, I believe it's already um you know uh set from factor. So let's see what we got. So you see that? So you see that uh, motor symbol? Hall, um, that's like a hall error. See that? So, uh, see that? It pops up again. Now I'm hitting the throttle. Hitting the throttle. See hall error? So, it was doing the same thing with my uh, with my uh, 72, my uh, 96 1800 too. I tried my 96 1800. And it was doing the same thing. Now, like I say, this is a brand new motor. We ain't, we ain't did nothing to it. All we did is installed it. We installed it, hooked the, the, the phase cable up, hooked the um, uh, hall sensor uh, wire up. Now, we're going to try a different one. Let's try a different cable now. I mean, uh, not cable, but the plug. So, let's try a different plug. <clears throat> this is probably going to be one of those, uh, one of those videos that... You know, not too many people's gonna see, but I'm just gonna just troubleshoot why uh, this is working, and y'all might have the same problem too. So we're gonna, so we're gonna unplug this, this hall sensor. One of them was bad. This one, this one was even worse. Once you plug this in, it don't even, it won't even. Uh, so you see in this beat one, that one beat, that means hall sensor. Okay, so let's plug it in. All right, so it stopped. Okay, let's see. See that? See that? Won't it? Won't, won't go. So we can't even we can't even throw um we can't even make this all learn at all because we got a bad hole sensor or something something's going on with the motor. I don't know, but like I say, I know this doesn't work. Period. It works with this one, but. That's how I found out that we had a bad hall sensor or something wrong with the motor because when we try to go, uh, it would not go and it kept saying hall sensor. So let's go ahead and um, I want to go ahead and log on to the app and see what's going on. What? Yeah, I'm trying to trying to do this. Uh, why is it? Oh, well, it got me going way off right there. But I'm trying to show them that, I'm trying to show them that, so they want a video of this not working. But I'm trying to show them that the whole, the motor's bad too. So this is a brand new motor that just came in the mail not too long ago. And um, so we hooked this up off rip that has a hole sensor. So we got a hole sensor on this uh, setup right here. So we troubleshoot the battery. The battery's good. We troubleshoot the. Uh, oh, we're gonna get rained on. I know. That's why I'm trying to make it quick. Oh yeah, because it's already still coming. Yeah, I know, right? So All right. So here we are. So we are in our parameters. I forgot to hit screen record. So this this is a brand new controller. So it's not even set yet. But 
as you can see we have um, offset angle at 210 degrees whole purge is 16 so they so it was ran uh, at the factory when it before it got here so we can actually can move this bike but now as soon as we go back to um, our graph okay let's see so we, we instantly get a hole error off rip I didn't this bike probably moved maybe a millimeter or so you know all right so y'all see that system okay let me go ahead and um, switch uh, let's go ahead and switch we, we already know that okay so we switch that one we're gonna put this one in okay let's see system okay on our secondary uh, hole sensor output uh, input now this one's not so bad you see this is not so bad okay so it takes a moment um, for it to pop up a hole sensor on this um, hole sensor cable right here but yeah man that's it man so we know what this video is is saying is that our wire harness good our battery connection is good all right so that is it of uh, the troubleshooting that far driver controller so there's a 72 850 and we got a qs205 hub motor haven't even been ran yet so like i say the stuff came in the mail uh we got out here this uh sunday i think it's saturday no sunday morning got here sunday morning uh we hooked everything up got the wheel you know spaced up uh the rotor on caliber on uh we got the controller uh bolted up got the custom wire harness the battery ready to go fully uh it was charged up to about 75 y'all seen on the far drive app it was around about 75 to 79 volts i forgot but uh had everything hooked up we hooked that on our switch no go so no power whatsoever couldn't figure it out thought the wire harness was bad uh we tried to hook up just the orange wire uh from the uh far driver and i'm gonna show you something hold on so let me go ahead and get a uh let me go ahead and get a harness just to show y'all what i'm talking about okay so this is a new uh harness right here so if you go if you hook this one orange wire right here okay so this orange wire you see right here so if you can hook this orange wire um you can hot wire this straight to the positive side of the battery and the controller will um will actually automatically turn this on and we tried that with the 72850 uh, we still had no power so i said okay how about this how about we just switch the controller so firstly i did my 96 1800 controller at first but that control is way too big the screws wouldn't fit into the lug so um i try to do it the best way i can it that's um it showed whole sensor error everything turned on that's the reason that's how i found out that the hub the hub motor was um had a, a bad whole sensor. now of course i can fix that but still i mean it, it's you know it hasn't been written yet uh i do have whole sensors i probably can just fix that but the controller i cannot fix so it might have send that one back or hopefully you know my supplier can see what the heck's going on and um you know but um but today i tried it with the 72 530 and uh the screws actually fit in the lugs and it turned on and you no know, that's how we you know whole sensor error and everything right there so anyways i hope y'all um uh, get some sort of uh uh like i see like uh advice from this video you know say how to troubleshoot your far drive control and all that stuff you know what i mean but this is what i'm going through never had an issue with these controls until now but anyways so um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get this video uploaded right quick so y'all can actually see what i'm talking about uh but anyway this is e bike guy and i'll see y'all next one peace